A couple months ago, there was this trend of the Lost Soul Down Chainsaw Man Girl edits. It's basically a manga animation of all the Chainsaw Man female characters. It basically looks like this. So I thought to myself, I should remake this on CapCut. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna remake this only using CapCut and Ibis Paint. So we're gonna turn this little picture right here into this bigger animation. There's also gonna be multiple steps to this tutorial. Step number one, removing the background. Step number two, cutting out the body parts. Step number three, blinking animation. Step number four, mouth animation. And step number five, we're gonna put everything together. We're gonna add some head movement and some hair animation as well. A little side note, this tutorial, we're not gonna talk about the CC, composition, lighting, we're not gonna talk about that. It's only gonna focus on the animation itself. So let's get started, shall we? So step number one, removing the background. You can do this with PixArt, you can do this with background eraser app. There's a lot of apps that you can do this with one click. For this example, we're gonna use Ibis Paint. We're gonna use the magic wand feature in Ibis Paint. It's pretty simple. You click on the feature and then you click on the background. This is gonna create an area around the character. So all you have to do now is pick up the eraser tool and just erase around the character. And once you're done with that, you can remove the selection area and after that you can just erase manually just the the parts that are left as you can see that's what i'm doing right now i'm just using the eraser tool to finish everything up so once you're finished erasing the background you can save as transparent png so step number two we're gonna cut out the body parts so this is very straightforward so we're gonna go fast here but basically we're gonna select the eraser tool and we're just gonna cut out the parts that we want to move so as you can see i erased the head out of the character and we're gonna save as transparent png next up i cut out the body of the character and i save as transparent png again next up we're gonna start cutting out the hair out of the character so we're gonna go to the left side we're gonna cut this part we're gonna save next up we're gonna move to this part of the hair we're gonna save then we're gonna cut out the middle one we're gonna save as well and then after that there's two parts on the right side so we're gonna cut them out and we're gonna save as transparent png again so we have a total of five parts of the hair in total also the next thing i did is i cut out the mouth out of the character this is gonna help for the mouth animation later on in the video so next up we're gonna do is we're gonna erase the hair out of the character so we're pretty much gonna make the character bald you can do this by using the pen tool in Ibis Paint. So just coloring the, the rest of the hair in white, just like I'm doing. So the goal is to get rid of the hair. And I also got rid of the mouth by coloring it in white over it. So just to recap what we have right now, we have the head, we have the mouth, we have five pieces of hair and the main body. Step number three, blinking animation. So first thing first, we're gonna put the green screen behind the image. So to do that, we're gonna import a green screen image and then we're gonna put the image as the first layer. So it's gonna be behind the character. And then after that, we're gonna merge the layer down. So we're all set to go now. So for the blinking animation, we're gonna duplicate the layer. Then we're gonna make the first layer invisible. So make sure you stay on the second layer. Then we're gonna pick up the eraser tool. We're gonna start erasing right under the eye just like i'm doing this part is extremely important so make sure you are accurate so after you're done erasing the area under the eyelid it should look like this and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other eye so we're gonna erase everything under the eyelid so once you're done here's what it looks like so the next step i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make the first layer visible by clicking on the eye icon just like this and make sure you stay on the second layer so now we're gonna pick up the liquify pen so now the goal is to close Close the eyes with our fingers so we're gonna start at the top we're gonna swipe down so you can close the eyes you can close the eyebrows and you can also test out the strength to see if it actually looks good or not so that's what i'm doing and as you can see it looks pretty good and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other eye as well so i'm just gonna close the eyes just like i'm doing and now i can test out the strength once again so if you're satisfied with the result we can move on so next up we're gonna start creating some frames so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a strength to zero and I'm gonna save the image as transparent PNG. After that, I'm gonna put it to 10%. We're gonna save it 20%. 
30, 40, 50, all the way up to 100. So every 10% basically. So you should have a total of 11 pictures in your camera roll. After that, we're gonna open CapCut. We're gonna put all of those 11 pictures in order in a new project. And we're gonna reduce the length of each clips to the absolute minimum, so 0.1. And we're gonna do this for each clip. Once you're done, you can export the project. And after that, we're gonna create a new project with the same video we just exported. So if you wanna make the character blink, we're gonna have to go to the speed. We're gonna upgrade the speed to maybe around 12, 13. And after that, we're gonna copy the clip and we're gonna reverse it. So as you can see now the blinking animation works so from this point on you can put the speed however you want if you want a faster or a slower blink so yeah you can play around with the speed for this example we're only gonna make him open his eyes so we're only gonna use the first clip so once everything is done we can export the project and now our animation is ready here's my blinking animation Step number four, mouth animation. We're gonna try to go fast here because it's very similar to the blinking animation we just did. So we're gonna open Ibis Paint with the mouth picture we cut out earlier. We're gonna go straight to the liquify pen and then we're gonna click on this icon. This is the shrink icon. So the goal here is to make the mouth close. So we're gonna tap on the mouth to make it close. It's very straightforward. So once you have a good result, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. So you can adjust with the strength to see if it looks good. And then we're gonna save every 10% just like we did last time. So for this example, I went with 100%, 90, 80, and then so on all the way up to 0%. So you should have 11 pictures in your camera roll. So we're going to open CapCut. We're going to put all 11 of those pictures in order just like we did last time. And we're going to reduce the length of each clip to the absolute minimum. So 0.1 seconds. And you can also put a white or green screen background just like I did. So after that, we're going to export the project. Then we're going to create a new project in CapCut with the same clip we just exported. So we are going to play with the speed. So we're going to increase the speed for this example to around 2.5. And then once it looks good, you can export the project. And here's my mouth animation clip. So last step we're gonna do, we're gonna do the hair animation, the head movement, and we're gonna put everything together on CapCut. You can create a project with any background that we want. For this example, we're gonna choose white. So let's start adding some body parts. First thing I'm adding is the blinking animation. Then we're gonna remove the green screen. So we're gonna go to a chrome key. We're gonna put the intensity and the shadow to 100. Then I'm gonna start adding the main body. And now we're gonna start moving them with keyframes. So what I did, I put a keyframe at zero second and at two second, for example. And I did that for both of the clips. So we're going to go to the second keyframe and we're going to click on this basic feature. Then you can rotate and move the head and whatever you want. You can either spin the wheel or even just move it with your finger. For this example, I rotate the head to the right side and I did the exact same thing for the body as well. So just go to the second keyframe and move it in the direction that you want. So once you're done, you can put some graphs to make the movement a lot more smoother. So the go-to graph is usually the ease out number three. So that's what I did. So next up, we're going to add the mouth animation. But before for that, we're going to copy the blinking animation and we're going to put it under here. And then we're going to replace that same animation with the mouth animation. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to keep the same keyframes. Very important. I also removed the white screen by clicking on splice and then darken. So as you can see, now we have the blinking animation plus the mouth movement at the same time. So the last thing we need to do is add the hair animation. So what I did is I copied the mouth animation clip and I put it under it. And then I did it four more times because there's five pieces of hair. So when you're done, we're gonna replace all of those clips with the hair. So we're gonna do this with each one of them. The reason why I'm doing this is to keep the same keyframes. So next up, we're gonna add this nice little waving effect onto the hair. So we're gonna go to the effects, distortion, and we're gonna search rippling number two. So we're gonna click on the object and we're gonna apply it to the piece of hair that you want. Then we're gonna click on adjust. We're gonna put the speed to 10, the intensity to 20, the twist to 40, and the amount to around 20. But also one of the thing is that you actually need CapCut Pro to use this rippling number two effect. So if you don't have it, you can simply replace it with screen pulse. It's not as good, but it's very similar. And you can put the speed to around six, the intensity to around six, and the size to around 20. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. But for this example, we're still gonna stick with rippling number two. So now you can copy the effect four more times and you can apply it to each piece of hair. So let's recap what we got now. We got the 
blinking animation as the first clip, we got the main body as the second, we got the mouth animation as the third one, and then we got all of the little piece of hair under that. So this is what the animation looks like. So now we can export the project and this is the final result. So thank you for watching the entire video. If there's some parts that you didn't understand, there's like 18 other tutorials on my channel. So feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want. And on that note, I will see you guys into the next video. Stay safe, y'all. Yeah.